Hello, my name is Kate and this is my charity shop haul and try on. So I live in Norfolk, in case you haven't watched any of my videos before. Hello and hello to you if you have. Hello. Um, I live in Norfolk. I do all kinds of hauls and vlogs and videos and this is a charity shop one. Um, I've just got to quickly um, tell you about my hair do my mug of the day, because I always do mug of the day if you haven't watched in my videos. Um, it's a different mug of the day. There's something else inside it, which is very exciting. <laughs> it's not at all, um, but you'll find out in a minute. And um, yeah, so hair, mug, um, I've said hello, and then I will show you all the lovely dresses. I think it's just dresses, one pair of shoes and some bits and bobs. So I'll do the bits and bobs, shoes at the beginning, and then I'll show you my beautiful dresses that I have found. And some of them were even 99p. Right, so the other day I had my hair cut um, and coloured, and there is a vlog. So if you want to watch the vlog of how my hair got cut and coloured, um, I'll link that below. And she did some curling and it was amazing. And I still, I love it. I really, really love it. I love it so much. Um, but I just wish I could curl like Zoe did. So I wanted like a Caroline Flack do and she did it so nicely. So I bought myself some curling tongs and they came in the t uh, Tesco delivery tonight. So I will have a practice. Um, so hopefully I can do my hair the same as she did it because it was just so good. So this is just it. Um, I haven't really done a lot. I've just put some straighteners on the end like meh. Um, okay, mug of the day. I've told you about my hair and I will practice my curls because I want to recreate the look that Zoe did because it was just lovely. This is my mug of the day. Um, this was from a car boot sale. This was a pound and uh, I've got some squash you can't really see but it's basically summer fruit or cherry and berry squash I think it is because it's so hot the weather's gorgeous and I'm filming this in the evening the time is uh well it's just gone half past six and I always just film in the day so it's really weird doing it in the evening I'm like I can't have a coffee because then I'll be up till like tomorrow night or something I have to have coffees quite early you see because of the caffeine and it keeps me awake anyway so I've got a squash this is my mug of the day because it's just so hot and I'm gonna get into the hall now I'm gonna quickly have a drink of that bring all the stuff over and show you what I have um what I've bought recently and actually some of the things I bought a long time ago and I've only got around to trying them on and wearing them because obviously the weather's nice and I had a big clear out at the weekend I did a huge car boot sale and I vlogged it as well so if you want to watch that vlog I will link that below 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 so if you haven't watched the um hair one and you want to watch it that's there and I will also put yeah the car boot sale haul when I did a huge declutter and got rid of loads of things so you're more than well there's a couple of car boot sale tips so if you're selling at a car boot sale the tips might come in handy right so I'm gonna get my stuff and I will show you what I've bought I've also set up a new tripod, so it might be a different angle. I don't know how this is, but um, I've got my big one out. <laughs> I've got my, <laughs> my big tripod. I normally only use it for photos um, and like when I do try-ons, but it's actually a better one than the one I was using. So I hope this angle is okay. I bought two pairs of these. They're just some little earbuds. No, they're not earbuds. That's what they, they say on here. They're just um, headphones and they were 50p each. And they've got like something written on the back there. I don't what's the make? Um ban dot do. Ban dot do. And I got two pairs of these. These are for my friend. I'm gonna put them in her little Christmas, not Christmas birthday present for Saturday. I'm not gonna wait till Christmas. And I got a pair and I've used mine and they're they're really good. And I just quite like the look of them because they're kind of like I don't know, they've got like dollar signs on and they're nudie. Nudie! And I like this packaging, but I know that goes in the bin, but I just liked it. Um, so they were 50p from British Heart Foundation in Great Yarmouth. All my top, um, this was a pound. It's like a little top that goes in and out, like a little flare top. Um, this was a pound in the pound rail, on the pound rail in Sue Ryder in Great Yarmouth. So I just grabbed this. That's the only thing I got from the Great Yarmouth branch, but I got loads from the Galston one probably the best charity shop in the world. I love it. Um, okay, so what else did I get from um, Sue Ryder? Loads of it Sue Ryder, actually. Sue Ryder in Caster. I found this Kath Kidston brand new makeup bag. How beautiful is that? I have got quite a few makeup bags, but I love this pink glittery one, and, and I'm a singer as well, if you didn't know that. You might have already known that, but if you, if you uh, didn't, I go off and do gigs and stuff, and I obviously take some makeup and, and put it on when I'm there. And this is a quite a nice glittery stage. Not that this will go on stage with me, but it might make me feel more jersey before I go on. And that is brand new, like I said. Um, what is it? Oh, there we go. £18. Excuse my terrible nails. It should have been, if you can see that. 
18 quid. So I found that makeup bag and sitting next to it, they'd literally just come in that day or that hour or that minute. I think I was the first person. They hadn't even priced this up yet. And they hadn't even written the price on the other one. So I must've literally gone in there as they were putting them out. This was three pounds and um, for this little tote bag. So I got, yeah, that was three pounds brand new. And the other one uh, was three pounds. And at the same time, I found this. It's a, it's from Next, it was £1.50 and it's a bath tea collection so it's got little tea bags that you put in your bath um so i, I bought that for me <laughs> it's obviously a lovely gift but i'm gonna use these i don't really have many bath salts and things so and obviously it's brand new and unopened um so yes it's a little gift for me i'm looking forward to using my um bath salts in the bath it's a bit too hot to have a bath though isn't it so i'll save it till it gets a bit cooler. I found some makeup as well in uh, the Galston charity shop, uh, Sue Ryder Galston, and this is an Avon one, I think, and that was a pound, so I got that the other day when I found all these lovely things. Um, I also got a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes. I was on the lookout for ages for like sandaly type shoes, but some really solid ones I could wear with loads of, with everything, and I found these Clark's ones. Um, I thought they might be a bit ugly, but I think they look quite good on. I'm not going to try them on now because my feet look horrible, but I will um, do a picture. I'll wear them in, in vlogs and stuff and show you what they look like. But they're so comfy. These weren't that cheap. How much were they? They were £8. But I think Clark's is quite expensive and they look really, they look like they've hardly even been used. So um, I know they probably don't look like it there, but up close, they don't look like they've been used. If I can show you the inside. They look like in really good condition, if you can see that. I'm not doing a very good job at this, am I? Shoes. Anyway, so they were £8, and I thought they would look nice, like the dresses and stuff, because I wanted some, not ugly sandals, but some like chunky sandals I could walk around in. Obviously, that's what you do with shoes. Right, I'm going to show you the dresses that I've got, and I've tried them all on already. So just before this, I popped them all on and did a little bit of filming. So I'll show you them one at a time, and I'll start off with, oh, I'll show you the things I got in Sue Ryder in Galston. And this dress here, um, let me put that one back. This is, what's the make? Oh, apricot. Apricot. And it was £4, this one. Um, and it's just a little, well, I've made it a halter neck. It's a little flowery blue dress. But you can kind of have it without that. And you can clip these to the back so it can just be like a strappy dress. But on me, um, the halter neck looks better than any of the other versions versions any of the other ways you can do straps and this is what it looks like on me i think leo like this dress i've got a feeling this is his kind of um his kind of dress not that he would wear it but you know he, i think he'll like this so oh i just messed it up a little bit there we go but yeah i like this one this is gonna pack this for my um holidays i'm getting kind of prepared for my holidays i've got a little section where i'm putting things so when it comes to packing and um, it'll be a bit easier but i'm probably going to do um like a packing vlog of the things i take and i'll do like a try on thing where they make it and they don't so when i before i did youtube when i used to do a big try on before a holiday and i'd have like piles and it was like x factor well done you made it you're through to the next round and then i'd whittle it down until it had like i don't know 14 outfits or 14 dresses um, but yeah, it felt like they're on X Factor and then, sorry guys, you didn't make it. Well done, you're on your holidays. So yeah, if you want that video, let me know. So this is this one on and yes, I'm very happy. Happy, happy, happy. Because it's so hot, I've got the window open. So you might be able to hear some traffic noise. I can hear it, but uh, yeah, apologies if, if it's loud, but I'm sure it's okay. This one is also from Galston Sue Rider and it is three pounds, it was three pounds 50, it's mine now, from New Look. And it's just got hearts on it. It's got pockets, doesn't it, I think? Oh no, it doesn't have pockets, I thought it did. Oh, it feels like it should, this feels like a pocket dress. It's not got pockets, but it's still lovely. So it goes in uh, this fit and flare, that's what they call, called, aren't they? It's got a little kind of design here and here, which I'll try and show you when, when, I, when I tried it on, I tried to show you. A little bit of red um, trimming around the front and some cute little heart buttons on the back. So yes, um, when I tried it on, this is what it looked like. So I just tried this on and at first, because I didn't have any time to try them on in the shop today, and I was like, oh no and then i was like oh actually yes and the back is amazing so um here it is from the front uh and it's got obviously little hearts on and it's got like a little bit here that comes out i like the sleeves because they're kind of a little bit 
sloped, if that makes sense. And look at the back. I don't know if you can see all the little hearts and stuff down the back here. I think it's so pretty, those little buttons. Sue Ryder in Goulson again for this dress. And this one is, it says Stella, Stella Morgan. Stella Morgan! It's not Stella McCartney, is it? Stella Morgan. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's Stella Morgan. Can you see it? Collection. Stella Morgan. And it says there's a fault, there's a tear at the back, but it's like, you can't even see it. So I wouldn't, oh, it's up here. You can't see it when it's on anyway. Um, so this was, how much was this one? £3.50 um, for this dress. And it's, yeah, it's lovely. And uh, here it is on my body. I like the neckline of this one um, and the way it just sits on the shoulders and it's really stretchy and just easy to wear. So yeah, I like this one. Nice and swishy. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hay fever's getting to me again. <laughs> ah! Sneeze of the day! And here's the last one from um, Sue Ryder in Goulston. The last one of this vlog. Anyway, there's gonna be loads more dresses. I'm going back there tomorrow to have a look and I'm really excited. Because every time I go there, I'm just, I haven't got much time. But tomorrow, I'm gonna go and take my time and um, really go through the dresses and try them all on. Um, so this one was £3.50. It's got pockets, love a pocket. And the make is Band of Gypsies, if you can see that there. Band of Gypsies, I don't know that's come up at all. Did you see that? Um, and I think this was, um, I, f I have bought these dresses before this make in TK Maxx. Um, so I think this could have been just like in TK Maxx, but it's really nice. Um, and you can see now, it's got pockets. This one has pockets. I love pockets. And um, so yeah, this is what this one looks like. And it's just really soft, really perfect for like summer and holiday so yeah i'm really pleased with it feels like you're not really wearing anything which is really nice and i really like the um the pattern as well i think it's lovely oh and the shoulders not the shoulders the sleeves i think you can either do this or um or the other way depending on what you want i suppose um i suppose you start off like this and then it goes up doesn't it oh no that one stayed or you can do like a, a sideways one and be all exotic hello Obviously I wouldn't have my horrible nudie bra straps out. I would either have like a halter neck bikini top or um, a black, you can have a black bra strap, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know I wouldn't have that on show obviously, because it's a bit ugly. This is the dress I was talking about that I bought in, I think it was January and hadn't tried it on yet. It was just in my wardrobe, but it's a Laura Ashley dress. Um, and it was, it's from Sense. It was £5.75, Laura Ashley. And what size is it? Is it a 12? Does it say 10 or 12? It can't. It's a 12, but it might say 10. I can't read it. What does it say? What do you say? What are you saying? Oh, it says 10, but it's not. This is definitely um, a 12. It's quite, um, it's not even really too tight. Well, you'll see in the try on. But yeah, I thought it was lovely. It's lined and dotty. And here it is when I tried it on. Feels really nice again, just really soft, um, really flowy, really summery. So yeah, I think it's a really pretty pretty dress I'll have to um I'll have to wear this this week as well as gonna be meant to be there's a message on uh, Instagram or a comment saying it's be, gonna be nice for four weeks not eight four so um I'll have to wear this soon as my dress of the day put a picture on Instagram you might know this if you've watched some of my videos before but I'm also a radio presenter and I present um cover shows on um, KLFM, which is in Kings Lynn, Kings Lynn um, Radio. It's really, really good. Um, you can listen online as well. I should be there. I'm back on in a few weeks, um, so I'll give you more details of how you can listen if you um, haven't listened before. So when I was in Kings Lynn, I quickly, I went to Primark and I went to, I think it was British Heart Foundation. Let me check on the label. Where's it off? Taking the label off. Um, Dorothy Perkins, this dress, it was from British Heart Foundation in Kings Lynn, size 12. It's kind of, is it paisley? I think it is. Yeah, it's a paisley dress um, with a nice pattern around the top, um, little flowery pattern. I love blue. I hope I haven't shown this before in a, car, in a charity shop haul. I don't think I have, but I've got like um, deja vu. Hmm, that's a bit weird. But then anyway, I said paisley before, maybe that was a different paisley. Anyway, um, yeah, this was five pounds. It's got little buttons on it. And here is what it looks like. It just feels really nice and soft um, and light. Uh, I like the top, I like how it goes in and out. as so this kind of shade flatters me. So yeah, I'm pleased with this. I could wear this anywhere. I like it. And these last three dresses I found today in the um, RSPCA shop, charity shop, 
in um, in Great Yarmouth. It's kind of heading out of Great Yarmouth, um, heading towards like Caister. Um, and it's, I've never been in there before. It's really small. And I said, well, I'll just have a little look. And I pulled in and they had like a 99p rail. And so I was looking along the 99p rail and I found, I tried on loads. I probably tried on about 10 items, but only these ones were were any good so I'll quickly show you them. I'll show you all three of them and then I'll show you them when I tried them on. So this is the first one, the Maker's Pistachio. Not, I'm not sure what, I think I've heard of that but I can't remember. This is obviously 99p and it's just a little like summery dress with a stretchy, is it bandeau? Is that what it's called? Top. And then it's quite long, it's like past the knee so this is just perfect um, to wear like with a swimming costume. So that one was 99p with the flowers on and um here's a draw i'll save that one for last that it's amazing that dress it's really it's such a good find i think anyway i think it's a love or hate dress that one um here's another little dress oh nearly hit myself in the face with the with the with the hanger this is a t-shirt dress it's from asda again it was 99p from rspca on the 99p rail which was um they had some really good things on it it's got lace on the back and it's got lace on the little shoulders little turned up sleeve and it's quite a sort of a, a heavy dress like a heavy t-shirt material um so that is that one uh, that'd be quite handy and then the last thing i'm going to show you is it looked like it was really big so i saw it and i was like what size is that and i think it had size 10 on it and um, when i um tried it on i was like i think i love it so i think it's one of those dresses that looks a bit weird but actually on it's quite nice i don't I haven't got a clue i have googled it cloth what does it say not cloth cloth kits designs i did google it and all that came up was like a, a dress making kit or i don't know i've never ever heard of that i can't find it on google i don't know what size it is but i just love it oh look at it it's got pockets it's really long it's kind of between my knee and my ankle and which sounds i've I don't know, I never would have bought a dress that length before, but I really like, I love that length at the minute. I love the pattern, I think it's so cute, You've got little boats and islands. It's just, I don't, I've not seen anything like this, I just love it. It's really sweet and especially like the style because it's so big. Um, I'm just so pleased that I popped in, I've, you know, I've not never been to that charity shop before and I'm so glad I did because this dress does it just makes me happy. I just think it's funny. I might even wear that tomorrow. It's just like, I don't know. I like this dress. Anyway, so they're my last few items and I'll show you what they look like when I put them on. Here you go. Quite like the length. So it's obviously past my knee, quite a bit past my knee. Um, and I'd probably wear this on holiday, like um, with a swimsuit underneath or, you know, go for breakfast or dinner or something or around the garden. I don't know. I don't normally, I don't love this kind of top but because it's got this bit here um it's quite it's quite nice but yeah i think this would be a holiday swimsuit underneath type dress this one's quite thick quite heavy actually on um it's it's a good length so i could wear this on the school run and i think it'd be quite good i could wear this at summer or probably winter with some tights um not just like holding tights you know put the tights on and some boots so yeah, that's what it's like it's quite a simple dress that i got today for 99p this dress is a surprise of the day for me, really, because I thought it looked a bit... I liked it in the shop today, but um, I wasn't sure. Um, I thought I might get it home and it looked really, like, unflattering, but I quite like it. Uh, it's just different. I've not, um, I've not got a dress like this. I don't think I could ever find a dress like this. Um, I like that. I've got so many um, dresses this length. Uh, well, I've got, well, I say loads, so many. I've got, like, four, and I bought them recently since doing YouTube. Um, so I don't know, I, quite, I do like the length because you never have to worry, you never have to worry, I think I just said that too quickly, about it like blowing up and showing your pants, which is always a worry when you have like, you know, it's windy in Great Yarmouth, so like, woo! So um, this one isn't going to blow up. Some people might hate this dress though, it might be a love or hate dress, but um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely love it. It's just different. I like it. So that is everything I've got to show you for this charity shop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a like and make sure you write me a comment. Let me know what you liked and let me know what you didn't like. If there was something you were like, oh, that looks terrible. The only one I'm not sure about is this one. So it's not like the most flattering on. Might be different. Oh, just the string got me in my eye. Might be different with a swimsuit, but I just don't think these tops flatter me. So 
Um, oh, you might have thought we looked lovely. So honestly, be honest, let me know what you thought was lovely. Let me know if you thought something looks a bit weird. I don't mind at all. We've all got different tastes. Um, so yeah, you can be honest if you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, because once I reach, eventually get to 10,000 subscribers, my other half, Lee, is gonna do a video with me, and he hates being on YouTube. So um, he's gonna, it might give him like a taste for it. You never know. So yeah, if I get to 10,000, he's gonna do a video with me. Um, I think he's gonna do my makeup. I've told him he has to try and do it well because I think he wants to just like splodge it on like done but I'm like no I want you to do it really nicely and I'm thinking we might like I'll say we, you have to take me out not take me out because I wouldn't have like we have to go out afterwards so maybe he might do it nicely then and anyway, I'm babbling a little bit aren't I so yes definitely subscribe if you haven't done so as I'm trying to get to 10,000 and I'm gonna drink the rest of my squash because I am so hot up here upstairs we're living in an old-fashioned house old-fashioned it's a Georgian house and it's very hot upstairs very cold downstairs so I'm gonna go downstairs and um, drink the rest of my squash from my lovely owl mug from the car boot sale so thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon what am I doing what's my next video after this I think I'm gonna do a vlog so um, tomorrow I'm going to meet Vanessa Norris and we're gonna to go to the charity shops and my mum's coming as well. We're gonna have breakfast, we're gonna to go to the charity shops and I'll probably vlog the day. So I'll probably do a vlog for Wednesday and then I've got to do a charity shop. Nope, done that one. Car boot sale haul and Poundland and there's other videos. So I'll just go and I'll think of them. So there'll be, yes, they will be more. So thanks a lot and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. I can't go yet because there's something else I bought that I haven't shown you. Oh, I can't believe it. I just looked to the right, to the right, to the right. And I saw this, um, 99p, it's a planter thing, I think. Um, Sasson Bell, it was 99p, and it hangs down like this. So I thought um, that might be nice in our kitchen, once we do our kitchen up or in the bathroom or something. That's the last thing I had to show you and I can't believe I nearly forgot. It's lovely, isn't it? Well, I like it anyway, little plantry thing up at the back there. No, there's nothing else, did everything else. Yep, okay, see you later, bye.